Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ghost Layers Report. Uh, right here from Tokyo, Japan. I am, of course, Ryan. So, welcome everyone again. Uh, yeah, for, for this video we're going to be kind of sitting down, not on the street today, on the uh, live Ustream channel. So, what is the big news for this report? Well, it appears that um, there's um, actually going to be an attempt to restart um, some of the nuclear reactors here in Japan. Uh, now, as we reported earlier, uh, as of right now, Japan only has one nuclear reactor up and running. The plans to shut that one down in May. Uh, but, of course, uh, the Japanese government, lacking any alternatives uh, other than uh, TEPCO reaching capacity on, on oil and um, a reliance on natural gas, things like this, um, instead of, you know, looking for another plan, they want to go ahead and push through to open up some more reactors. Once the uh, one sole reactor currently is shut down in May. Uh, the reactors in question are at the um, Oi uh, area in uh, Fukui, Fukui Prefecture. Um, uh, Japan's uh, economic minister said on Monday that two nuclear reactors tentatively met government safety standards, um, even though um, uh, completing improvements will take several years. They still want to go ahead and get the startup going pretty soon. Uh, now, all, all but one of, like we said, all but one of the 54 current reactors um, are offline right now. Um, the last one will be shut down in May, like we said. Um, now, the government issued new safety standards recently for this uh, restart. Um, in the face of um, concerns. No, concerns, right? Of course we have concerns. After Fukushima, of course we're going to be highly suspicious of any uh, restarts with safety standards. Now the two... Now, Minister Yukio Idano has a very interesting way to um, describe how the approval for the OI, um nuclear reactors have been approved. He said um, that they more or less meet uh, our safety standards, more or less. Now, what does he um, mean by that? Well, what he means basically is that um, before Fukushima, this plant passed test. Now, it doesn't pass safety standards, but it's at the same level we had before. Now, to prove this, just because I'm not, just to prove to you I'm not uh, blowing smoke up you, but um, let's take a look here. Now, um, now the new guidelines were adopted last month by the Nuclear uh, uh, Safety Agency. Now, some of the most critical measures to secure uh, cooling functions to prevent meltdown um, in Fukushima are installed at OI. That's a good thing. But uh, the rest of the things required to reopen a plant, not making snuff at all. Uh, now, let's look at some of the things that um, the OI uh, nuclear reactor does not have right now. Uh, filtered vents that could uh, substantially reduce radiation leaks in case of an incident uh, threatening an explosion. A radiation-free crisis management building and fences to block debris washed up by the tsunami will not be ready at oil plant until 2015. Uh, this means the plant as well as workers and everyone living in that area will not have the full protection uh, that the new safety standards aim to achieve. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to restart this plant and um, without the new safety standards being met. Okay? Now, the reason that they're like letting this slide is say is that, um, let me find the representative here on the handout I have. Um, where's this at? Oh, um, Kansai Electric President Makoto Yagi um, has given Idano a road map uh, that said they aim to achieve the world's top class safety at Oi Plant. And he hopes that the, the startup is approved as soon as possible. Why? Okay? Uh, how can you make that type of statement? Your own nuclear reactor, which is openly known, is not following the new safety standards. 
Yet you say, well, we'll, we'll get it. Don't worry. We have a plan, a road map. So basically, uh, uh, Minister Idano has approved this restart just by Kansai Electric saying, we're going to make it better. We got a plan. You have a plan, but what have you done? Have you started the, have you acquired the materials to, to build this new safety stuff? Have you, um, do you have, um, architecture plans to, for the re renovations? Um, you're not giving us a lot of information here. You're just saying you presented a plan to the government, which we don't have access to. We can't see and judge for ourselves. And you're saying that's good enough. You, you, yeah, restart it. We got a plan. No! It doesn't work like that, okay? It can't work like that anymore. That's the old way of doing things here in Japan for nuclear power. That's the old system. Where everyone assumes everything's going to be cool just because the private sector says it is. And this is me criticizing the private sector pretty harshly. Um, a bit surprising for me, but they deserve it, okay? They, the nuclear industry in this country truly deserves it. Because they have proven, you know, time and time again, they're dirty. They can't be trusted. I don't see how the people here uh, can go along with this without seeing the plan themselves. And number two, when are you going to start to get this stuff installed? You say 2015? Have you started now? Have you? you haven't, have you started now? Or are you already doing this? Right now, do we got construction workers coming to that oil plant, starting with the renovations? Now, if we can see that, maybe they'd be more supportive of this. But there's none of that. I just present the plan and say, restart it. We got a plan. Come on, restart it. Let's get, let's get the money. Let's get the money rolling again. Let's get this power problem solved as soon as possible. We got these nuclear plants restarted. The safety standards have not been met, clearly. So you can't just do that, right? Now, to back me up a little bit more, uh, we'll look at a quote recently by given by um, Tadahiro Katsuta. Uh, he's a Meiji University associate professor. Um, who was on a government panel that produced um, the, the current nuclear safety recommendations. Okay, Now, he said the upgrades that are completed now, as are now, are mostly a quick fix measures. And um, the more important ones, the one we mentioned, um, are such as a crisis management center, have been put off, basically. So, yeah, he's speaking the truth there. Yeah, they're not going to do this. If you restart those reactors, they're going to drag their feet on any type of renovations to get up to current safety standards, which have just been implemented and are supposed to be enforced. But they're not being enforced here at all. Right Now, uh, he goes on to say that they are currently the crisis management center at the oil plant is in the basement. Right? Um, that would be a huge problem if you had a big tsunami hit that plant. And yes, that plant is by the ocean. All right? Um, the plan is relocating um, the function to the room next to the control room for the two reactors. So they're going to move it slightly higher in the hopes that if tsunami hits, they won't be flooded and screwed like they were at Fukushima. Right? So they're saying, oh, well, see, that, that, that's, that's their plan right there. That's your plan. Seriously. I mean, really. You know? I don't get this right. Now, now, currently, just to make this a point, uh, to show just how subpar standards are, um, none of the 54 nuclear reactors currently are equipped with filter, filtered vents. None of them have that. That's a totally new safety standard. Um, although operators are moving to install them in, in uh, coming years. Um, that's coming from um, information given us by Mr. Mari Yamaguchi of the Associated Press. That's where we're getting a lot of information from today. And I'm breaking this down for you guys. Right? Now, um, Oi, uh, the Oi mayor, yeah, he, um, Mr. Shinobu Tokioka, yeah, I called the roadmap a step forward. But uh, basically, not enough. Not enough at all. So he's apparently had access to this. He's a government official. He's probably seen the report. He says it's not enough. Not good enough, right? Now, um, just to make, you know, to show you how dangerous the area in uh, Fukui Prefecture is. There's 13 nuclear reactors there right now. Um, clustered in four complexes along the, way, along the coast, often referred to as Japan's nuclear alley. All right? So it's a high area for nuclear reactors. 
Um, so it makes it even more controversial to restart these at all. You know, yeah, really nutty stuff here going on, right? So here's what we basically got in Japan right now. Uh, they're going to try to force these two nuclear reactors to be restarted. Um, when they don't, when they clearly don't match the new safety standards, and the best plan that the operator can give us with Kansai Electric is that they have a roadmap. They get everything done by 2015. In that time frame, we're still looking at subpar uh, nuclear uh, power plants, and we're not reaching safety standards. Right. So as always, guys, we want to thank you for uh, watching and tuning in to this um, unique form of delivering news and information to you here on the Ghost Layers Report. As always, please subscribe, please comment, please like, please share this video around. Until next time, this is me, Ryan, here in, here in Tokyo, Japan. Checking out.